So I don't often get a chance to do harvest videos because it takes too long to film them. But uh, I thought tonight I'd just show you my picking my salad. Uh, I always have a salad for supper and I'm going to pick it from the back garden. So I'll just show you what I'm going to get in. So I'm going to pick some of this Navarra lettuce. In fact, I'm going to pick salad for the next two days. And this is such a gorgeous lettuce, really lovely and crunchy leaf. So the key thing to remember here is you're just always just picking the outer leaves and leaving the centre intact. And you want to pick the plant down to about, you know, something like this. So you're only leaving a couple of decent sized leaves on there. So then we're going to pick this Grenoble Red, another really lovely crunchy lettuce. Beautiful leaves on these. We need a couple of these. And I think we'll do the same on this, which is Tessie. It's a bit like Bijou, similar sort of lettuce, beautiful dark colours. And then this green oak leaf lettuce. It's a real favourite of mine. These have been left to grow on a bit too long. It's just, oh, I've got a bit too much lettuce in the garden at the moment. But they're absolutely, they're so a bit soily, but they're so crunchy that the midrib on these is incredible. Really, really fresh and as I said, so crunchy. It's a fantastic lettuce. Just tend to get a bit of slug um, infestation, so don't grow it if you've got a slug problem. But maybe you can see that now. Just look at how crunchy that rib is. Fantastic. So then we'll pick some radish. We'll just take that whole little clump. Just look at those. Absolutely gorgeous and perfect. Four in a clump, just as I like them that, perfect. And then I'll pick some of these pea shoots. You just want the tips. I don't need too many of these. They're absolutely great. In fact, I've just been eating, I've been on the allotment with Debbie and we've just been uh, closing up and we've been picking marsh stew peas. And of course they would be an absolute treat in this salad, along with strawberries, but we, we ate all those. And I'm just going to take some tips off these corn salad. They're really nice as well. Most of these are really going in the smoothie mixes at the moment, but just makes a nice little garnish. And then finally, we're just going to pick just a few of these gorgeous spring onions. I normally just cut these off to be honest but uh, I haven't got my knife with me today so I'm going to take take these. I love them when they're so small and fresh. Absolutely delicious those. Unfortunately we don't have any tomatoes yet but we do have cucumbers so I'm going to pick that little beauty. Beat them, new season cucumbers. I can't eat them from the shops. I'm just giving everything a bit of a clean and a spin. So the Grenoble Red, Green Oak Leaf, Tessie, Navara, Ladiva, Backyard Eggs, uh, Alderman Pea Shoots, uh, White Lisbon Spring Onions. Uh, French breakfast radish, Cantarix lettuce, I didn't actually show myself picking that one. That's another one with an incredibly good uh, crispy rib. A few black grapes, a bit of red kitten spinach, a few uh, cherry tomatoes, we didn't grow those. And little bits of corn salad, I think. 
that's the whole lot. So, hope you like this super quick video. I'm going to enjoy my salad now. See you soon. Mm -hmm.